Question three has three parts. Part A says, is number four equals to set, including four? On the left-hand side, you have an object which is just a number. On the other side, you have a set. In general, set and number are not equal to each other. So in general, B is not equal to set, including B. We only can say that, hey, B belongs to set B. B is a member. What's the cardinality of this set? Can we have repeated members in this set? We can rewrite this set as three, four, and five. So the size is three. Why? Because it only has three members. What about this set? What is the cardinality of this set? Let us identify the members. It's a common mistake for students. The very first member is one. One is a member which is a number. The second element is a set. Set, including one, is a member, which is a set. Next member is another set with two members. So, Set including one and set one is a member, which is also a set. So set C has three members. One of them is just a basic number. The second one is a set of cardinality one. And the third member is a set with cardinality two because it has two members. But in general, if I ask you what is the cardinality of set C, you're going to say that, hey, N of C or the cardinality of C is three because it has only three members, the first member, the second member, and the third member. Okay. 